Cozy Grove is a relaxing simulation game brought to us by the amazing mind that also made Road Not Taken and Alpha Bear called Spry Fox. It reminds me a lot of Animal Crossing's New Horizon, but I like to call it Animal Crossing's Little Goth Sister, because Spry Fox art style is a little dim and dark, just the way I like it. Most of the things in this game speak for itself, but there are some things that would have helped me out when I knew them when I started playing, so that's why I decided to make this video and help you out on your first day of Cozy Grove. I also stream Cozy Grove every day on Twitch, so if you have any questions, feel free to stop by. Let's go out camping, shall we? You start off your adventure in the character creation screen. There are not much options to choose from, but it is enough to give yourself a cute little character. After that, you need to find your way to the campground. You find the campground on top of the hill. First thing you do is start your fire. You grow your fire by feeding it spirit logs. You get spirit logs from helping bears complete their final earthly quests. After you found your first spirit log, you pick it up and you drop it on the fire. Look at that fire roar! After you've burned your first spirit log, a new ghost will appear. Go visit him. After you completed your first quest with Jeffrey, he will give you a shovel. With a shovel, you can dig around the island. Make sure you keep an eye out for these, what I call donuts. When you click them, you can dig up useful stuff from the ground. After you've given your fire the second spirit log, you have unlocked Mr. Kid's shop and another friend on the beach of the island. Mr. Kid's shop is useful for buying and selling stuff that you don't need or that you do need. Also keep an eye out for leaf piles, they give you a lot of useful things. And here's my first tip on things that I wish I knew the first time I played Cozy Grove. Make sure that you upgrade your tent at least twice on the first day and that you upgrade Mr. Kid's shop on the first day. Now upgrading your tent and upgrading Mr. Kid's store takes money. And how do you get money, you ask? Well, by selling stuff, but not just anything. Make sure that you cook your food and then you sell it to Mr. Kid because that will give you a lot of money. I went around the island once, dug up everything I found, and cooked everything in the fire, and it gave me over 6,000 coins. That's enough to upgrade your first tent. And with your first upgrade comes more storage space. Fishing is pretty easy in this game. Make sure you have your fishing rod in your hand. Click on the bubble above your head and drag it in the opposite direction of the fish you want to catch. Release and you'll be fishing. And there is your first fish. Wah, an ugly look. After you found your captain buddy on the beach, the flame takes more logs to expand. You have to give him two logs instead of one. After that, a new friend arrived. Who should it be? It's Patrice, the Postal Bear. After you help Postal Bear with his first quest, you'll receive 10 parsnips. That'll help out great with your expansion quest. Cook up your parsnips together with everything else you found, and you'll have some delicious meals to sell. I got 165 root vegetables. If you sell that to Mr. Kid, you will receive 20,000 coins. But I do advise to keep half a stack of each in your inventory. 18,000 gold. Store some of your food in your tent for use later on. And then upgrade your tent again.
Now you have 18 free slots of space. Just a little bit less than you have in your own inventory. The tooltip of an item shows you how rare it is. You can find it here. This one is uncommon, especially with shells and with fish, this is pretty useful. I recommend selling all the common shells and keep some of the uncommon and rare in your tent at all times. At some point you notice that there are no more spirits locked that day to fulfill Flamey's need. That's okay, you can always come back tomorrow. One thing to keep in mind in Cozy Grove is that there is always tomorrow. Main thing is to have fun. The game doesn't stop when the day stops. The quests don't have to be completed within the same day. If quests have a time limit, let them expire. There will be new quests with the same rewards. Just remember to have fun, because this is supposed to be a relaxing game. And the final tip I want to give you is upgrade kids shop on the first day. But keep in mind that you won't be able to use the shop for the rest of the day, so make sure that you have finished all the quests, completed all the locks and sold everything that you want to sell for that day. When you've done so, simply click on Mr. Kit, say that you want to buy something and select the catalog, restore upgrade catalog. Buy it for 10,000 coins. And then you have upgraded Mr. Kit's store and upgraded your tent twice in the first day. That's in my opinion the best way to start the game. Now that you finish your day, that doesn't mean that there's nothing left to do. There's always things to do in Cozy Grove. You can walk around fishing, collecting shells or digging around looking for root vegetables or mushrooms. This concludes my starter tutorial for day one in Cozy Grove. I don't say it's the best way to start a game, but in my opinion, it is one of the better ways to start your game. There are other tutorials out there that have some great tips, great suggestions. So my advice is check them all out and pick what's the best playstyle for you. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any tips for me that I haven't put in this video, make sure to leave them in the comments down below so that other people can see them as well. If you want more tutorials like this one, please let me know in the comments down below as well. And please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye.